Hey, I'm Issa Rae, and I'm gonna walk you through my skincare routine and my go to the office makeup look. I'm gonna do something a little different, and I am going to show you how I go to sleep at night. Cause I, there's no morning routine without my Dutopia. You gotta see this, huh? <laughs> I have not had a pimple in a year and a half since using this. Not even period pimples. Like period pimples used to piss me off. So I'm not jinxing myself, but I love this product. So then, ooh, I went to sleep this morning. Now I wash this off my face, see the feel. Vaseline, and I'm putting this on because I want to talk to y'all with dry lips. Scalp oil from CNN Naturals. Um, Cause I just, I don't like, I'm dry. I'm dry all the time, everywhere. And scalp care is skincare. I will rock, you know, braids. I'm really good at wrapping my hair at night and preserving um, hairstyles. Barbie though, which y'all see my robe? <laughs> Barbie was a wiggy asset, I'll say that. Vitamin C and E serum. Dr. Stone for darker skin tones. Even when I tried to approach doing a skincare routine in my 20s, like I didn't see specific products for black people. This immediately appealed to me. You know, I do this in the mirror, but I feel so vulnerable doing it in front of y'all. But it's Vogue and Vogue calls, you pick up, <laughs> right? When I'm on a set, it's so important to me that I have people of color working with me, people who understand, you know, black hair, black skin. Even if you're not a person of color, I need you to have that understanding. You know, I used to have super dark circles under my eyes. This is a Lancer Legacy Eye Treatment. Mornings are my favorite time of day. They are my time. Like I get up super early, I'm a 4 a.m. girl. I get my workout in, and after my workout's done, I feel like I've already tackled the day in the best way. And then this is where you find me, my skincare routine. And that's also a way to just unwind and get ready for the day. I do bask in it when I have time. When I'm traveling, this entire routine goes in a small, pouch like a kid. It comes with me everywhere, every bathroom, I unpack it first. Wherever I'm at, I know that I'm home and that my, my skin will be taken care of. I use sunscreen a lot and I've gotten better about it because I was one of those ones, I was one of those blacks that was like, mm, do I need it? I've learned that cancer doesn't care where you're at. So I make a concerted effort to put on sunscreen. I will go to work without makeup if I'm in a rush. And when I still wanna have that like glowy, dewy look, I use this Tata Harper beautifying oil. I love it. I found out that one of my co-stars on Barbie, Shuti, uses these. I was like, he's using it and he has amazing skin. Let me tell you what will cause an immediate marital fight is you touch my products and you don't know what they're doing. And you come on my side and take my products. Don't touch my my face creams and use like globs of it. Stay away from my skin products or divorce. <laughs> Am I a makeup artist? No. Have I ever done this before? No. You asked for this shit. You clicked on the video, all right? So first, We'll start with a little foundation. Shishido, it's great for my skin tone. I apply with a little beauty blender and I'm really, really only gonna apply right here. Concealer, Norse, as you say it with an LA accent. Tap a little concealer on my lids too, so that when I use the bronzer later, it will show up. Fenty powder for my girl. I saw her video. <laughs> it was cute. I don't use much. Bronzer really helps with that glowy look and the makeup artist that I do work with, she gave me this three method where you just go on the outer parts and make a three. Ah, look. 
I'm gonna switch my brush out and I'm gonna use this bronzer for my eyes too, okay? I love like bronzy colors, I love gold colors. Um, I love like rosy reds. I'm gonna go on my eye for a little, a glowy look, you know? This makes me look like I made an effort. Like I genuinely care about the people that I work with, which I do, and then I wanna show up for them. I am playing President Barbie in the Barbie Me movie, and she is a natural leader. In Barbie land, Barbies can do anything. They can be anything. And when Greta approached me to be the president, it wasn't like this, this big thing that, oh, it's the black female president. It was just like, you're in Barbie land, the president can be black and is black and they just, that's just what it is, and I love that. And she also said the nicest thing. She was like, you know, I was thinking in my fantasy world, you would be my president. And I said, girl, why? <laughs> why? I love this eyebrow gel from, from Dime. Dime, only Dimes use it. <laughs> I just thought of that. So I usually brush down first. Insecure is really just a, it was a playground. Everybody got the opportunity to kind of give their best from the hair to the makeup to the styling on the show. A lot of people ask me if I really rap in the mirror. <laughs> no. And I've had people tell me like, I rap in the mirror just like you. And I'm like, I don't do that, but good. I'm glad, whatever it helps you, whatever it helps, you know, get out, you know? Talk to myself uh, around the house a lot. But I do appreciate that Issa D gave people, you know, a way to get their aggression out, get their feelings out in the mirror. But this does make me feel a little bit nostalgic. Add mascara, this is one with extra volume. Eyeliner. I would say the best advice that I've gotten has been like, what's meant for you will be yours. That has gotten me through so many setbacks and feeling like, oh, where am I like, my, my, like the stagnation or like I've missed out on opportunities. That really gets me through times when I'm just like down on myself. When something is mine and I'm, I'm ready for it, then I'm out here, baby. I am so excited about this summer. I have, you know, obviously Spider-Verse came out and that was such a big, big deal for me to, to play Spider-Woman, Jessica Drew, and then Barbie. And then I have the second season of Rap Shit coming out, which is gonna, you know, take over the summer, some for the summertime. I'll put some blush on. When I am, like, I, I need to play a role when I feel like I've written it for me, then it's mine. But generally, I love to write for other people. I wanna write for Lashana Lynch, Quinta, Kiki Palmer. I wanna write something for Yaya Abdul Mateen. So many people, honestly, come see about me. Let's put a little lip liner and then I'll top it off with a little gloss. I love like neutral, dark 90s lip tones. So this is a chestnut color that I really like. This is a Sigma lip gloss. I should have stolen so much stuff from the Barbie set because like, where else was I gonna get that? You know, I have a niece, I felt like I failed her. There was so much stuff just in drawers that the camera didn't even see that nobody would know was there except for the production and set designers. But like, really, what could you do about it? And there were so many Barbies on set and I should have at least stolen clothes. Pop it off with one of my favorites, Chanel number five. I'm basic like that. <laughs> This is President Barbie signing out. Thank you guys so much for taking this journey with me. Bye.